Hello everybody, I'm Palkifano8, and welcome back to Tales of Eternia! Last time, we went through the Nostos Cave, and today we will go to the village of Morley. As you can see on the map there, it's that yellow dot. Uh, white dot, sorry, I don't know my colors anymore. Even though white is not a color. But before we go there though, let's have a battle. I must warn you though. The enemies around here are nasty, so I will actually recommend you to run away, for now at least. Yeah, before we go to Morley, there's one little thing. Uh, do you remember back <coughs> behind the Regulus Dojo that there was a hidden area? Well, there's one over here too, so let's see if we can find it. It's right here by the shoreline. I've uh, Let's do it. Hey, egg bears! <laughs> That's normal enemies. And forest hawks. Oh, god. Strong enemies, not cool. Ow. Please, Pharaoh, heal me. Damn. Yeah, if you're in the forest, you can meet up with some enemies called war bears. And they are strong. Pretty cool, though. They are huge. <laughs> oh, thank you. Aw. Why can't Reed get any more skills? It's not fair. Let's see. There you are. You were around some here somewhere. Hey, it's that guy again. I am a soldier without a name. I shall teach you a command. And we got the focus attack command. Cool. Don't really... It's not really that important, but... This is a let's play. I'm gonna show you stuff. That you maybe didn't know about. And I guess I can show you... What commands are? Let's do it. Ew, that's a huge bug. This is command. Conserve DP. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Just this tells you your what your party members should do in battle. Consume TP if you really don't want them to use their skills. I mean, conserve <laughs> if you don't want them to use skills. Focus attack. They will attack the same target as you. Range attack. The, they will only attack the enemies close to them, and so on and so on. We will get more commands later, though. So, yeah, pretty... pretty simple. God! Annoying! <laughs> Those bees, man. They're so annoying! They, they're so small! They, they fly everywhere, you can't hit them! And they... just... I'll poison you and I'm gonna fly away so you can't hit me back! They're so annoying! Thankfully, though, they don't have that much HP. Anyway, that's Morley right here, so let me please. Yes! Good. I was waiting for a, a, a counter like one step away from the village. Ugh, that's happened to me way m many times. It's rare to see a visitor here these days. Yeah, I believe. Now, I love this village. It is beautiful. And it's just, I, I always like these type of villages, you know? They're up top of a tree or just a forest. Best inn in the village, I will use it. A good example would be the Ixataka the village in Skies of Arcadia. I love that place! Oh, they're so beautiful. I don't really know why I like those so much, but... Uh, Ah, I just do. <laughs> anyway, this should be the food shop. Hey, it's Catherine! Huh? Aren't you? Alright, Simone. Grandpa will buy you anything you want. Simone? What? Simone? Wasn't your name Catherine? <laughs> I guess Simone is the, is the name of this man's grandchild. When I asked for directions to Inferia, he thought I was her. And you've been stuck here ever since? <laughs> he seemed so happy, I couldn't disappoint him. Well, I guess. <laughs> Simone suddenly has some urgent business in Inferia City. Is it alright if she goes? Huh? Is that so? Well, I guess Simone's all grown up now and has more important things to do. Take care of yourself, Simone. I... I will. <laughs> Thank you for your help. 
I thought I might end up as Simone forever. <laughs> I must be on my way now. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> I wonder if she knows the way from here to Inferior City. Oh, poor girl. Anyway, let's check here and we'll get a free holy bottle. That's always very nice. And check this pumpkin here for another very nice disguise for... I am the mysterious wonder Jeff. I'll show you how to make garden salad that's healthy and low in calories. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, garden salad. Nice. Salad has three ingredients. So now it's just a salad. Lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers. Garden salad ingredients. Nice. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay. So this is the food shop. You can buy food here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a lot. I'm not gonna... No, I don't want to. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> now, that's pretty much everything we can do here for now. So let's move on with the quote-unquote plot. Let's find find Kiel's professor. No. Ah, stupid camera. Hey, kid. The backwoods of Marla are below. Okay. The backwoods of Marla just ahead. Danger, turn back. Okay. I will. <laughs> A man named Mayset lives up there. Thank you. That's the guy we're looking for. Hey, this is Professor Mayset's house. Thank you. This is certain to be it. The home of Professor Mayset. Dummy, dumb, ah, whatever. How long has it been since you've seen this professor of yours? Around three years. Why does he have to live way out here like this? I'm not certain, but if I know the professor, I bet he got some sort of good reason. Really now. Oh, we'll we'll see, we'll see. Hey, that must be him. Professor Mazet. Why, if it is Kiel. How have you been? I come here with a favor to ask of you. Calm down now. You haven't changed at all, Kiel. Whenever you discover something new, you never could contain your excitement. <laughs> he knows you pretty well. Leave it to the professor. I I apologize for my rudeness. Um, have you been well? Haha, <laughs> that's quite alright. So, tell me, what brings you here? Thank you. Well, the reason why... Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, thankfully they tell him everything off-screen. <laughs> I see. So she says she's a Celestian. Of course, I don't believe everything she says. But I would like your advice on how we may be able to communicate with her. Do you have any, please? I would like all of you to have one of these. Okay. They're pretty. It's called the Ors Earring. Ors Earring? Huh. Have you heard of it? All high level Kramel mages wear it. They say that putting it on your ears allow you to communicate with Kramels. Wow. Communicate? With Kramels? That's pretty cool. Okay, but what does the Ors Earring have to do with Merity? Hmm. Oh, I get it. Kramel speaks the Melnix language too. Correct. The concept might be applicable to this instance as well. But we are in Kramel mages. Try putting them on, then listen carefully to what Merity says. It sounds easy. Let's try it. Is it really that easy though? Receive the Ors Earring. Yeah, we kind of did that like a minute ago, but oh well. Okay, I'm ready. Meredith, can you understand me? Answer me if you do. Please. Ugh, failure. Damn. <laughs> Reed, Kiel, did you understand what she said? Nope. 
Not a thing. It's not working at all. Negative. Meredith, say something again. Tell me if you understand me. Please? Uh, what's so funny? Uh, whatever. <sighs> Failure. Nope. It might take some time. The ore's earring will not work unless you are all on the same psychic wave. Really now. You just pulled that out of your ass, didn't you? Psychic wave? Doesn't sound easy. No, not at all. Wait. What's up with Meredith? Oh, here we go again. What's the matter? Calm down. Did you eat something bad? <laughs> of course. We don't understand. But I think I know what's wrong. Quickie is gone, right? Hey, what do we do? We can't let her go off by herself. So we of course have to run after her. I guess not. Ugh. I don't understand. What's the matter with her? Keel. Huh? Listen, she's human, just like you. Remember, okay? Y yes I understand. Ugh. Where could Meredith have gone? So, Meredith is now out of the party. How nice. So, we have to run after Meredith and find her. But I think we're gonna do that next time. So, I'm Palkyofano8, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.